All it takes is one certification to completely pivot your career path and start living the life that you want to live, especially in GovTech. For me, that certification was Security Plus. Today, I'm not gonna just tell you the doors that the Security Plus opened for me, but I'll also deep dive into why it's so useful to get, the challenges that I faced while trying to get the Security Plus, and how I tackled those challenges so you can get the Security Plus too. If you're considering a career in tech, especially GovTech, or you're struggling to get your Security Plus certification, this video is for you. Join me as I walk you through my journey with the Security Plus from the struggles and the triumphs. The CompTIA Security Plus certification validates that you have a foundational knowledge in security. It covers the risk management framework, the CIA triad, threats and vulnerabilities, and more. Even though it covers a lot of these topics at the surface level, it proves that you have the security knowledge that is needed to work on government systems. It's a great certification for IT professionals who want to focus on security security, and this is the best cybersecurity certification to start with. It's the best certification to start with because it's a baseline certification for the government, and the government has baseline certifications called the DOD 8570. The 8570 are the baseline certifications for information assurance roles, which is now called cybersecurity. Since the certification is recognized by the government, it's a great way to get your foot in the door in the GovTech sector. The CompTIA Security Plus is a requirement to get root access to government systems. So if you want to do any type of GovTech job that's above help desk, you need to have the Security Plus certification. It can open up doors for you for roles like system administration, network administration, IT technician, and even SOC analyst roles if you pair it with other cybersecurity certifications and more advanced cybersecurity skills. Since the government is being consistently hacked every day, the Security Plus certification and the need for security professionals is greatly increasing every single day. So by setting yourself up and putting yourself in the position to be qualified for these roles with the Security Plus, it's going to help you get ahead of the game. Before I got my Security Plus certification, I wasn't doing any kind of cybersecurity or information assurance work whatsoever. I was actually a software engineer and I had no idea how powerful the Security Plus certification was. It wasn't until I tried to apply to a radar systems engineer role overseas that I found out that the Security Plus was so needed in the the GovTech industry. Before I could even interview for the role, the hiring manager told me straight up that if I did not get the Security Plus certification, I was not going to be able to interview for the role. Even though I had the proper skill set, he felt like I didn't have the right security knowledge and the right foundation because I did not have the Security Plus certification. It was a requirement on this government contract that all engineers had the Security Plus before they even started the role. So for them to mitigate this, they just would not allow anybody to interview for the role if they didn't have the Security Plus already. So even though I had a degree in computer science, which is the hardest degree to get, I still could not apply for this role that would allow me to go overseas and double my salary. So after the conversation that I had with the hiring manager, I knew it was time for me to focus and start to study to get my Security Plus certification. While studying for the Security Plus certification, most of the challenges that I faced came down to the networking information. I was not that well versed in networking as a computer science background. At my school, we didn't cover networking in depth, so I had to go back and learn the basics of networking. I also needed to go back and learn the basics of security because I just did not know security whatsoever. I was rushing against the clock to get this certification so I could land this role and go overseas, so it was a lot of pressure on me. The information didn't really start clicking for me until I started doing simulation questions and doing practice exams and doing security labs to actually practice the information information that I was learning. The material that I used to study for the Security Plus was Get Certified, Get Ahead. I used the Security Plus book and I also used their practice exam questions, simulation questions, and their flashcards as well to prepare for the Security Plus certification. When I first started studying for the Security Plus, I was not being serious whatsoever. I actually signed up for a Security Plus boot camp that was a week long and it did not help me get my Security Plus certification whatsoever. My company allowed me to take a week off of work to start studying for this certification and go through this boot camp. And by the end of the boot camp, I was still in the same position that I was in before. The information that was covered was just not that in depth. And the way that they presented the information wasn't in a style that allowed me to actually absorb the information, remember the information and be able to apply the information. So I decided to go back to the drawing board. I ended up creating a study plan where I would study one hour in the morning and I studied a few hours after work. And after 
studying for about a month, it allowed me to finally get to where I needed to be and feel confident enough to take the exam. When you're studying for the Security Plus, it is super important for you to stay disciplined. You have to stay to a structure. You have to continue to study and practice. And the most important part is to do those practice exam questions because when it comes to the Security Plus, there are so many questions on the exam. You have to be confident in knowing what the right answer is because that could be the difference between you passing and failing. So once you determine how long you want to study for the Security Plus, create a study plan for that amount of time. For me, it took me one month to get my Security Plus, but maybe it'll take you longer. But whatever time frame that you study for, create a solid study plan where you detail how many hours a day that you'll be studying, which domains you'll be focusing on, or what chapters in the book that you'll be focusing on. You need to make sure that you are doing practice exams almost every single day because that's what's going to help you pass the test. After preparing for the Security Plus for about a month, I started to feel more confident once I started scoring 90% plus on the practice exams on Get Certified, Get Ahead. Once I started consistently doing this, I knew I was ready to go take the exam. I sat for the exam and I ended up passing it with flying colors. It honestly was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be after preparing really, really hard for a month. But what made the test being easy was all of that preparation that I put into it. I see people all of the time not study enough for exams and when it comes time to take the exams they completely bomb it. So if you want to increase your chances on passing the exam make sure you spend a lot of time studying the practice questions and also practicing any performance based questions that may be on the exam. Once you start to practice and apply the knowledge it's going to make the exam much easier for you. After I ended up passing the security plus I almost doubled my salary from $85,000 a year to $140,000 a year, mostly tax-free. And I did this by getting an overseas government contracting role, so I ended up deploying to Japan at the age of 24. Since the Get Certified, Get Ahead practice exams and performance-based questions are not available anymore, stay to the end of this video and I'll recommend to you the best places that you can learn and practice the Security Plus for free or for a small amount of money. After I passed the Security Plus, I felt amazing. I knew that all of my hard work would pay off and by getting that certification it started my journey into information assurance roles and cybersecurity roles within the GovTech space. It opened up so many doors for me in my career. I was able to start applying for jobs that had a security focus. I was able to start actually doing more information assurance work at work and it allowed me to start preparing myself for where I wanted to head in the future with my technical career. It didn't take me long to realize that I did not want to be a software engineer long term and that cybersecurity roles were more in line with what I wanted to do in my career. Fast forward five years and my latest role was with the GovTech cybersecurity startup where I was making $275,000 a year as a federal technical account manager. In this role I was responsible for making sure that my government customers had the best security posture and that our cybersecurity product provided them the best security and the best insight into any security gaps that their environment might might have. So by getting the Security Plus and putting so much of an emphasis on security in my career, it allowed so many doors to open up for me. I ended up working in so many places. I ended up working in Japan, Taiwan, and South Korea where I used information assurance and cybersecurity skills and knowledge to perform my job on the day-to-day -day basis, which ended up leading me to the role with the GovTech cybersecurity startup. So the Security Plus certification is what allowed me to make over $200,000 a year and completely change the trajectory of my career. None of these doors would have been open before if I did not get the Security Plus certification because remember, the Security Plus certification is a baseline certification for the GovTech industry. So if you want to get in this industry and make a lot of money, the Security Plus is where you have to start. So if you want to study for the Security Plus now and pass it, I highly recommend Jason Dion's Security Plus training. It will allow you to study for the Security Plus. He has the the labs, the practice exams, practice questions, and the study guides that you need to be able to pass the Security Plus. When it comes to doing practice exams on the go, I highly recommend Pocket Prep. Pocket Prep is great because you can use it on your phone or on the computer, so you can easily do these practice exams while you're out and about. So if I was in your shoes today, that's what I do to pass the Security Plus, and that was my journey on how the Security Plus completely reshaped my career and how it can reshape yours as well. For anyone looking to break into GovTech or get into cybersecurity, the Security Plus could be your launch pad. If you need more guidance on 
some resources on getting the Security Plus or breaking into GovTech, I run a program called the GovTech Academy that will fast track your journey into the GovTech industry. No matter what your background is, we have it all. From a strong GovTech network to interview prep and Security Plus certification preparation. So click the first link in the description if you want to fast track your way into GovTech or you can do it the hard way and figure it out on your own. Also, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos on how to break into the GovTech industry. I'll see you on the next one.